Booming Thunder Radio, where we groove as the spirit moves. Yeah. Drawing the honey from the rock. The precious red doctor on Booming Thunder Radio. Shalom, mighty friends, fellow Hanukkah warriors of Silicon Valley. Everlasting souls. Awakening in the earth. Bringing heaven and the will of the everlasting Father before the eyes of blind men. May your eyes be opened. May your heart be circumcised this day. May your tabernacle be raised on two sticks like a pup tent. What do you see inside? The beasts of the field are nothing but dust and sands of time. The spirit is everlasting. The clay, the iron, the earthenware vessels transfigured their holy water into the holy wine. The filling, the indwelling, the opening of the gate of the heart and letting the Mashiach common in the mysterious way of heaven and the earth. Teach each one in his secret place, ye, in the fourth watch, ye, that we, the us, could come and share what the Father had given us, ye, Freely given us, we freely give each of you. If we are a blessing upon your heart, yea, if, if our blade has laid waste to the narrow way before you, and we come from the wilderness together right now, over we, yeah, the everlasting glory within each of us, the hope, yeah, the knowing where our faith comes in the unseen things of blind men. Yeah, faith, yeah, the substance of things hoped and the evidence of things unseen. Make sure your faith and make sure ye the spirit within you, spotless lamb, comes not from a black haired billy goat, but one who has ye like all the earth, Joseph's son, a king in Egypt, a ruler, humbling and feeding his brothers the revelation of everlasting. And that stone once rejected, yea, Joseph himself, the firstborn of Israel, Hallelujah, Yahushua HaMashiach.
awakening, the double portion in the eleventh sun. Do you understand two as one in his heart? The split window of his mind in two paths, splitting the double portion, that the tent could be raised this day. Yeah, Joseph's coat of many colors, yeah, like the skin hiding in the wilderness of the earth. Many colors. Yeah, everyone inside the heavens in his heart with long black haired billy goat hair crafting the will of their heart, denying the will of the Father and the power of a lasting in the earth. But there is a remnant, mighty friend, which we, the us, are. Ye, those that have taken their white lamb skins and standing before Moshe's faithfulness. In the eastern mighty gusting wind, parting all oh, that we may walk right down the middle above the iron and the mud and the clay and the stomping of the feet in the mud, and the driving of the chariots in the way, professing themselves to be gods, pharaohs in their own Egypts. But there are those who have received and suffered for the truth and when they receive the truth in the mysterious way of heaven their faith is so sure for they are certain where it comes from yeah, Yehoshua HaMashiach yeah, the spirit of truth the everlasting glory that is in the earth the restrainer the spirit of truth. Yea. Grieve not this spirit, for there is no forgiveness in grieving the spirit of truth and denying honor and justice. Yea, and what all that has came before us lived their lives and gave their lives. Yeah, let each of those laid resting be raised in the Father, the everlasting glory's perfect time. Yeah, may the Father, that unknowable God, the unspeakable name of the one true God, May he command all the earth in opening the eyes of the blind this day by the suffering of Job. Yea, a six-day war and a suffering servant no more. Let us live and rejoice with the bride of the anointed son, each with the indwelling of hope, ye that knowing of everlasting 
in each of our hearts. And then together, right now, yeah, agree and speak the word before us. The grain of mustard seed in her heart. This little book of wisdom, the heavens and the earth she would open and reveal her magnificent flower, the wisdom of all the earth. Yeah, and she does it today at 8.05. And as we, the us, parting the Red Sea as Moshe, And not all those who changed and added to and took from the word of Moshe. Yea, may they be. May the spirit within them that made them do these things be rebuked and cursed and bound and cast into the abyss in the swirling whirlpool once was still water and now the duckweed calls all oh, the quacking ducks once more they come from the north, and they come to the south, because the heat, yeah, the warmth, yeah, the fire, yeah, the everlasting mighty father. Oh, mighty friends, it doesn't look like that our battery is going to, is going to maintain. So we are going to have to cut it a little bit short that we can get it all, try to get it all in before we lose everything and have to say goodbye from, yeah, all the earth that, drains the power from our devices and works their inequity before us. Yeah. Let them be magnified in the hope of glory and send forth the 7% we have into 70. Yeah, magnified by 10, the undeniable number like the Ten Commandments in a man's heart. Yeah, a man who walks above the law. What? Uh, no one is above the law. Remember? No carnal mind in the earth, hidden in the spirit. Yeah, may they receive the Fenton blade of truth at the Father, yea, the existing Father's perfect time and moment. So our brother Thea is before us, and he says, G805, and the Thea definition, to make firm to make secure against harm, to be made secure, mighty friends. Yeah. Let the power of the existing Father magnify in the Son's heart. Yeah. The complete word study, 805, G805, safe, to make safe, Fast, secure against enemies. 
It's used uh, in the Hebrew sense in Isaiah 41.10 in the Septuagint. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Did you see the 805, mighty friend? I'll let you dig for ye the transfiguration of the Greek mind into the Hebrew mind of the Septuagint. Eh, to secure the feet. Yeah, as in Acts 16 and 24. And he, having received such a command, threw them in the inner prison. Do you hear? And fastened, there it is, G805, and fastened their feet in the stocks. So what does this word stocks really mean? It means to scrap. It's wood. It's, it's, it's used for fuel. It's the calling of timber. Everything made of wood, yea, two sticks, a staff, a club, ye stocks, or wooden blocks with holes in which the feet and sometimes the hands and neck of prisoners were confined. Ye, the stake like a nail, a cross, ye, through the right hand, the son of the right hand, the king of glory, the one we in our blindness that we could receive the truth and forgive the fathers ye and all those with the hope that came before us would rise in the first resurrection at the father's perfect time by the hope in our heart ye and all the little angel feet Ye are not allowed to be placed upon the earth. Ye the blood upon the promised land. Ye poured out in the Kidron Valley. Ye that gardening place. Mm. The wet wood. Ye. Revelation 2 and 7. He, the Mashiach, speaking. Yahoshua HaMashiach speaks the living word in your heart. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the called out ones, the remnant. To him who overcomes, Yahoshua HaMashiach will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Hallelujah. The indwelling of the Spirit in our hearts. Immortal is the spirit 
He that stands by the open door in our heart. Or the one who slams the door shut and has some eye piercing through a peeping hole. Yeah, the locks on the door, rust on the hinges. Yeah, hewn stones and mortar filling the doorway till this very day. Yeah, let the tree of life, conceivable, yeah, the illusion of two crossed sticks, yeah, two sticks now a crossing, becoming one, the wood, yeah. The wood of life, two sticks as one. Yea, the tav, the sign you seek, the end. Yea, from the very beginning, Benjamin, the sons of the right hand. Hallelujah, mighty friend. Are you ready to cross over? Yeah, having parted the Red Sea this day, the Hebrew 805, the BDB definition for Ashuri is steps. Yeah, two definitions. A tribe inhabiting the plain of Estrelon and a tribe descended from Abraham and Keturah. A complete word study So the word, the living word is Job 3, 4, and 5. All the faithful should read these words and know who Job has become. Let the hope within your heart, mighty friend, Yea, that that white that that white lamb skin circumcised heart of yours. Yea, the squaring of the ark in your hand and in your heart, the wise master builder inside you and the existing Father, yea, the Son of glory in the earth. The H228, he is the sum of our Hebrew Pi 16 today. And it is from the Aramaic. It means to make hot. Yay. The complete word study for H228, the sum of Hebrew Pi 16, which we are going to try and get to before we run out of power. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. An Aramaic verb meaning to make hot. To heat, it is used by Nebuchadnezzar in its infinitive form to order the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than normal.
Daniel 3, 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with wrath, and his facial expression was altered toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He answered by giving orders to heat the furnace seven times more than it was usually, there it is, heated, H228. In Daniel 3.22, for this reason, because the king's command, urgent, and the furnace had been made extremely hot, the flame of the fire slew those men who carried up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Do you hear? It slew those who carried up these righteous men. The ancient Hebrew lexicon Bible for H228 is the number 1143C. And it is the Zion and Hay, which means to stand out. Something that stands out, something prominent or is pointed out. This, as, but, now, then, someone or something that is prominent. The kindling. Yea, in Aramaic only, is it hot, headed, hot, burning. And those who stand in the everlasting glory, one foot on the sea and one foot on the land like an angel upon the earth. The G228. Those that go in and out of the door with the Mashiach. Yea, the word study for G228. True, one who cannot lie, real, genuine, defines the relation of the concept to the corresponding thing. True. Conformed to the truth in the sense of real, unfeigned, not fix, fictitious, meaning the only true God, not feigned like idols, but spoken of what is true in itself, genuine, real, as opposed to what is false. Pretended of the vine, Jerusalem, the bread coming down from heaven, of which the manna is in the fourth watch each day. Yea, means the heavenly temple which you are, after the model of which the Jews regarded the temple of Jerusalem as built. Ye Hebrews 8 and 2. A minister in the sanctuary, ye in the heavens within his heart, and in the true tabernacle, ye of his mind the secret place, where he and the Father 
Yea, the Son of Glory, Yehoshua HaMashiach in his heart. Yea, he sups with him at the table in the tabernacle of his mind. And, yea, like sitting with Melech Zadik in the tent of meeting, giving the ten the commandments in his heart before the Mashiach. That the ten kings that rule over these words to see them made true will do their work. Which Yahushua HaMashiach pitched yeah, this tent and not man. Do you understand? This tent of meeting is covered with a badger skin. Yeah, a honey badger skin is likened to a prayer shawl. No unicorn, no little black box on his head. No mule strapped down, sniffing the wind. Yeah, like the whore of mystery Babylon. No more forgiven in dwelling but one in the heart and nowhere else. The one faithful, given to, the heavenly temple. Hallelujah, Hoshua HaMashiach. HebrewPie.com, number 16. Reveal to us this mystery. Bent over working, hoeing the rows in the fields, Gazing over the righteous ones, reaching up with wholeness to be fulfilled. The liquid light comes upon the tender ones, coming up in the fields. Soon the plow will be ready to strip away the ones who bring us tears. The weak that are breathed upon by him are made strong like the Sabbath coming each week, nourishing them. Reveal to us this mystery. Yahovah gives life as he pleases, breaking open the seed like the bride in her completeness. Breathe upon our tabernacle. Plow with us today. Let your brightness come over our tabernacle with resonance this day. Let the door be opened, uniting us with those within. Let our baskets be raised that Yahovah will place much inside them yet again. Yea, let the tabernacle, the tabernacle of our mind, be as an abundant harvest basket being filled time after time. Ye mighty friends, like one crying out in the wilderness, awake, arise. The bridegroom is about to appear within each of our hearts. Circumcision Hill The still water 